Hello, my name is Dil Vikram Singha, and along with Amory, we co-founded Insight Matters, uh, which is a counseling, psychotherapy, and wellness uh, center based at 106 Capel Street. And um, and we we established Insight Matters nearly a decade ago, and along with uh, over 60 uh, psychotherapists, counselors, and uh, clinical psychologists and a counseling psychologist, um, we support the mental health of over 500 clients on a weekly basis. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be giving this talk today as part of the PCI uh, talk series. An absolute privilege to be uh, asked to do this, um, as I have huge, uh, huge respect for uh, the contribution that PCI College has done over the years to the the psychotherapy and counseling uh, uh, practices in, uh, in in Ireland. So, um, what I'm hoping to speak to you today is um, just in relation to uh, our response uh, to COVID-19 as uh, practitioners. Now, for full transparency, I am uh, yes, I'm the co-founder of Inside Matters, and I'm also a, a trainee psychotherapist in my second year. Uh, training as a psychotherapist and a counsellor, and uh, <laughs> um, it uh, it's great fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great fun and uh, and uh, a great deal of suffering, which uh, which I'm told apparently um, it's all part of it, and uh, and apparently I'm do I'm doing it right if if there is plenty of suffering. Anyway, um, so what I wanted to speak to you today about was. Um, just our response to COVID-19 as practitioners. Um, as, a, as a center, um, we tried our very best from the onset of the, the pandemic to, um, to respond uh, to it in a, in a way that was measured uh, and reflective uh, and definitely not reactive. Um, so I, I think from the very onset, Amri and I, uh, I, I don't know whether this was, this is not a conscious thing. It was very much an unconscious uh, approach that we took, which was very much uh, client-centered and therapist-centered. Um, so of course we, uh, you know, consulted and 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 you know looked at all the the guidelines that are available uh, by the HSC and the the, the government, uh, but also we took time to see the needs of our clients and our therapists. Uh, so we knew from the onset, even before the list was uh, published of who essential workers were, we knew we were going to be on that list because as psychotherapists and counsellors, we, we provide uh, an essential service, um, especially in, in times of uh, a national crisis uh, that we have just... Uh, just um, gone through we're not quite the other side yet we're still navigating it as we speak so we knew that we were going to be on that list so we we didn't take a, a, a we, we we took a very measured response so we we kept the doors open and and as our practitioners you know uh, felt comfortable they would come in and do their work and see their clients and then over the weeks we we noticed that uh, many of them uh, actually had to discontinue face-to-face -face, uh, counseling because their clients no longer felt comfortable coming into the city centre. And, and that played a big part in in us closing, because uh, working in Capel Street, which is arguably one of the busiest streets, you know, because just near Henry Street, one of the leading shopping uh, streets, um, you know, this, this street would always be very full, very busy. And to see it deserted, to see all the coffee shops and shops closed, that in itself uh, created um, a very uncomfortable uh, and uneasy feeling coming into the city centre for, for clients and therapists. So as uh, the, the lockdown progressed, and the weeks progressed, we found that less and less clients were more more, uh, more inclined to come in. So at the very start of the pandemic, we, we, we put the necessary... Um, precautions in place and we moved our service online but we also ha had the center uh, opened for the clients that were uncomfortable with the online medium which let's face it is is not for many uh, not the preferred method um, for counseling some really really uh, enjoyed it 
uh, and some not so much. So we just wanted to make sure that we, we had all options open for, for our clients. And then uh, I think it was about a, about a month ago when we realized, uh, a little over a month ago when we, we, we realized that actually very few clients were coming in. So we've made the decision to close the center doors uh, physically. And, um, and then uh, when the announcement was made that uh, the Irish government was happy to move to phase one, we felt it was, uh, it was the right thing to do for us to reopen the center. So on Monday, uh, the 18th of May, we, we reopened the physical doors of uh, Inside Matters. And I'm very happy to report that many of the, our clients uh, were very happy to return to face-to-face -face counseling. Uh, but the majority are still uh, online. And I think we're going to see very much, uh, 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 I suppose, the see the opposite of what happened uh, on this, at the start of the lockdown. We went from 60, 60 therapists seeing 500 clients on a weekly basis, uh, slowly kind of decrease uh, uh, and to a point where there was you know, a very small stream of uh, therapists and clients coming into a center. And now we're going to see the same kind of curve um, start kind of a slow uh, and it'll be like a, a slow build back to our uh, usual busy practice. And again, we're doing it um, in a client-centered and therapist-centered way. Um, we, we, we are very understanding that some therapists are do, don't want to come back to phase two or phase three, but then we are also have to be mindful of the therapists that want to, to be here on the very first day of uh, the, the, the start of phase one. So as, as a center, Anne-Marie and myself felt we had a responsibility to ensure that we catered to uh, the, the needs of our clients and our therapists. All, of course, in, on the backdrop uh, of the, 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 the advice that has been given to us uh, and the leadership that has been uh, uh, provided to us by, by our government. And we've observed the, um, the return to work safely guidelines and pro protocols. And, um, and we have created a policy to ensure that therapists and clients feel safe when they come into our centre. Um, so, so just an example of, of, of the things that we need to consider uh, that would be in, the, in this policy would be you know, a health screening uh, prior to the appointment. Um, and then attending the, the practice itself, we have to be mindful of uh, social distancing me measures. Um, we have to ensure there's managed entry into the center. And of course, um, we have to implement um, uh, uh, hand and respiratory hygiene uh, guidelines as well. So collectively, you know, so if it's the clients coming into the, the practice or if it's the, the therapists, you know, we're, we're all working on this together collectively and ensuring that our space is, uh, is safe for, for all. So, yeah, so that's really um, the kind of nuts and bolts of it. But I suppose it's really important for, for us to get across to practitioners who are you know, really wondering when should they should they come in? Uh, when they, when when should they return to face to face? And that's really, you know, uh, up to you because um, absolutely you have to take your clients' needs into consideration. But it's really, I mean, it's 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 going back to that old uh, um, phrase: put the oxygen mask first on yourself. Uh, because if you don't feel ready to go back to face to face, then you know when you do go into that uh, therapy room, if you're not ready, you're not going to be able to be present to your client. So it's it's going to be very much going to be focused um, uh, on a the very therapist um, uh, led or therapist centered. Uh, uh, approach. I think it's just so interesting because I, being a second year uh, psychotherapy student, uh, the, the the term that I hear over and over and over again is is uh, is you know client centered or person centered. And usually that's always when you think about person centered, you always think about the client. Um, but uh, I, it's it's not very often that I hear the the term therapist centered. And uh, and I think our response to the pandemic uh, and how as practitioners we are going to return to work 
has to be a very much therapist centered uh, uh, approach as well as a client centered approach because it, the client could be very happy to uh, uh, resume face to face but if you as a therapist don't feel ready then you have to listen to that you know and and i suppose i i, I want to end on this note um and i think this is the activist in me because before i uh, I, I, I'm now trained to be a psychotherapist and, and, and I'm a service provider. Uh, before that, I, I did work as a, as a journalist and broadcaster. But I think that, I suppose, that the hat that I feel most comfortable wearing is the one of the activist, you know, the, the, the person who, who would be uh, very comfortable at uh, rallies and marches. And, and uh, you know, so, so, some, uh, I've had people call me left-wing agitator. <laughs> I think it's a really interesting um, uh, term, but yeah. So I I am very much of the the mindset that uh, that as an activist, I feel mental health practitioners have a very um, important role to play in this phase uh, in our response to the pandemic. Um, frontline workers, doctors, nurses. Uh, all the medical staff have done an outstanding uh, job in uh, in supporting uh, people who are directly affected by COVID-19 and uh, the families. And I think now it's very, it's crystal, crystal clear for me that it is the role of mental health practitioners to help with the healing process. Because we know that the fallout of uh, the pandemic from a mental health point of view is... I think still too early to tell, but we know that it's going to be huge. Um, it's like obviously there's people who are who are grieving, who are not able to attend the funeral of loved ones. Um, there's people who have not uh, been able to hug their parents or uh, hug their children in in months. You know, uh, so like the isolation. You know, as, as human beings, you know, connection. You know, as, as we know only too well as mental health practitioners, it's all about connection. Humans are all about connection. And we haven't had that in, in, in weeks. And, of course, we, we've been able to connect through technology, which is wonderful. But yet we know that that also has had mental health uh, uh, ramifications for us. As, as, as I heard recently, um, uh, this, uh, Giampiero Petrieri, who's like a, a leadership um, person kind of describe um, how, why people many are experiencing Zoom fatigue. Uh, it's all down to dissonance, you know. We we are. It's one thing about being um, present to each other, or it's one thing about being absent from each other. But through technology, we are in the constant presence of our absence. So we may see uh, each other through a screen. But that's only a very painful reminder that we are actually not in the same room. We are actually not able to reach out and t uh, actually t touch uh, each other by by either by giving each other a handshake or a hug or an elbow tap or a foot t tap or whatever it is, you know. Um, so that that so we are constantly in the presence of our absence, and that in itself is causing uh, mental health issues. And uh, and this is for everybody, you know. So so this is just the just the tip of the iceberg of what is ahead of us as practitioners. Um, because as we go back to work, these are the kind of issues that are going to come back, uh, are going to come into the room. So I think it's um, as I said, it's the activist in me that I I really feel I I can almost hear it. You know, the call to action for for mental health practitioners to um, you know prepare ourselves for the deluge uh, of, of um, demand that we are going to have in the coming weeks and coming months. Uh, and and it, it's our role now to help with the healing and the recovery process of our, of our nation. And, and it's really important for you as practitioners right now to look after yourself, put the oxygen mask on yourself, uh, make sure you have uh, 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 your, your self-care practice well established and well in place because boy, I think we're going to we're going to need it because um, people are going to need us to be be there for them and support them. Okay, so uh, I think that's that's really uh, what I wanted to share with you as part of the PCI uh, uh, talk series that uh, I was kindly asked to uh, um, partake in. Uh, I hope uh, you uh, you 
what I said maybe resonated with you and, and maybe gave you some food for thought because that, uh, that would really make me happy if it does. And um, yeah, if, if, you, if you want to get in touch, uh, as I said, Inside Matters is our practice. And, um, and, uh, and I really feel in this, in this field of mental health, there's, there's no, you know, the, the term competitor is something that really jars with me um, in, in, in the mental health field. Um, we are collaborators, and and I think that's one of the reasons why we, as a as a practice, have grown so so quickly and have established ourselves so so uh, well as one of the leading practices in Dublin because we 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 are very open to collaborate with everybody because it's it this is this is this is for for us it's it's a it's a calling it's it's very much a, a, a life's work it's it's a passion. And, and we all need to work together to ensure that we put um, the mental health of uh, Irish uh, people and, and the healing process uh, first and foremost. So thank you so much for your attention. And, uh, and I suppose I end by saying I uh, which is uh, a Sri Lankan uh, where, where I'm uh, originally from, uh, along uh, Italy and Bahrain and various other places, but Aibuang means uh, may you have a long and happy life. Thank you so much for watching. Watching? 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye now.